So in this small video here, I'll talk a little bit about the buying center. So the buying center, of course, implies kind of like it says, uh, the center around the purchase, the buying process. And it deals with the people involved in this process. Often there is more than one person, often different roles in the purchasing buying process is split between multiple persons. Even if you don't meet these persons, you actually need to address them in order to make a sale. And we have the influencer. We of course have these social media influencers that is uh, all over the place and getting paid for promoting products. But we also do have them inside organizations. People who are following the gadget news and say, hey, this is coming up, we should do something about that. They probably doesn't have an official role in the organization, but they are the influence of things. A good example was in Chris did something for the uh, education ministry. There was a consultant down in the corner. The minister always went down and asked him when it was about technology. So he was the influencer that you needed to address. <coughs> um, then you have an initiator. So when is it, uh, we have a a challenge, a product, a need uh, that has to be solved. This is the person who starts this process within the organization. Identifying this person will always be a potential great way to start a sales process. <clears throat> but everything is not working for us. We also do have our gatekeepers. Gatekeepers is often referred to as the secretary sitting at the front desk, the person you need to get through. So, as I always say, the most important person in an organization to be nice to is the receptionist or the secretary because they are the gatekeepers. They know where are the influencers, where are the initiators. Ask them, be nice to them, make sure that they feel happy about you actually approaching the company. <coughs> Then we have the decider, the one who makes the decision about this product. Is this actually the product that we need? Uh, and says, yes, it is. It's not necessarily the same person as the buyer, because the buyer is the one who pays for it. But <clears throat> based on influencers and deciders, well, they will go out and purchase. Think of it in terms of selling an IT solution to an organization. Finance, CFO is the buyer, but the uh, CTO, Chief Technology Officer, or C Information Officer is the decider on the product based on the budgets, of course. <clears throat> uh, and just to make things even more complicated, we could often see a different user. Again, the IT solution. CFO buys, CTO uh, decides, and then it's the product owner, uh, the developer who uses the product. So <clears throat> when we now have all these different roles, why is that important? Well, in order for you to make the sale, you need to make all of these persons happy, or at least not actively work against you. So, when scoping your materials, make sure you have all these different profiles covered because they are the ones who can make or break your sale. Thank you.